We arrived after the uh, two-day symposium in uh, Awasa. It's our first time here. I mean, it's my first time here. And uh, actually, when we uh, finalized our last symposium in Addis last year, we decided we move out of Addis and do it in some of the uh, major cities in Ethiopia. It's amazing to see how things are rolling. Uh, there is all the time a buzz of, of advancement. It's moving, the whole thing is moving, and the Ethiopian government has done tremendous things. In Eastern Africa, Kenya, Uganda, I mean Kenya, Tanzania and Ethiopia, as you've heard in this in symposium, uh, potassium has not been considered a key, I mean, I mean, it's been considered as a key nutrient, yes, but uh, the need for fertilization or using potassium fertilizers has never been considered critical because the belief has been that we have sufficient potassium in our soils. You know, the, it's quite uh, quite amazing for me that in, in Africa, the, the farmers use very, very little uh, fertilizer. And uh, that's why the crop gene is very low compared to Vietnam. Soils are dynamic. And soil characteristics, soil fertility is also a dynamic process. So through, through, through the years, the soil fertility status of Ethiopian soil, similar to other countries, other developing country soils, have deteriorated in terms of their uh, fertility status. Due to this, Ethiopian agriculture faced stagnation in terms of productivity, increase in agricultural productivity. For example, if you take like the current cereal, national cereal average yield, is barely 2.1 or 2.2. Uh, tons per uh, hectare, which is very low compared to the international standard. Ethiopia's the name stands for the Ethiopian Soil Information System, and uh, basically uh, this uh, initiative was uh, based on the past uh, challenges related to the Ethiopian soils. So it was initiated just to. Uh, build a database especially on the Ethiopian soil information and uh, to give advisory service for the farmers especially on the fertilizers and in addition to this there is also a parallel uh, activity uh, which is related to the uh, landscape mapping of the Ethiopian soils. I'm uh, happy that it's first in its kind in Africa and I am also excited that Different African countries are coming to Ethiopia to share experiences on the, uh, this project. And we are also using the state of art technologies. That means we are building digital uh, soil fertility maps that can be updated anytime as there is change in the satellite imageries or our field data. This is always the same, you know. Seeing is believing, and uh, we had, we have this uh, experience also in other countries, in India, in Brazil, in China, etc. And here as well, when farmers are exposed to balanced fertilizations, which means by essentially using potassium, using the potash as a uh, nutrient after not hearing about it or even not knowing about it. And suddenly they understand. Like someone said in the conference, seeing is believing. And for farmers, they really have to see uh, the, the need and then to see the benefit that they're getting for, from yeah. the fertilizer. Yeah. And so definitely, we know, as researchers, we know that potassium is important. And our role is to help them in, this, uh, in determining their right amounts and determining uh, uh, the interactions that are involved in uh, potassium and other uh, nutrients and giving them the right recommendations. But definitely, once we have the right uh, recommendations, the key thing is demonstrations, demonstrations, demonstrations. What we did was we demonstrated different fertilizers to farmers. Here, the target farmers were 10, 
So we had a bunch of 10 farmers everywhere, uh, adding up to 600. What happened this year, the moisture stress manifested to the extent that some of the crops failed. The difference we noticed was that those plots that had the new fertilizers, meaning NPS boron and NPS zinc boron, survived a little bit, but those that in which potash was supplemented gave better yield. The way we work is we cooperate with local research entities, that is the ATA or the Ministry of Agriculture, universities, and bring in young people to study issues that have not, has, have not or that needs to be refreshed on, on major issues regarding plant nutrition. And we are looking at major crops. We are uh, looking at teff, coffee, wheat, maize, uh, barley. I'm not going